Hello everybody, it's Neil, and I'm back with Bramble. Bramble the Mountain King. And we are at the base of the mountain. No. I was like, is that a flower I can kill? Or is it the flower that we're hunting for? And killing people for and I just happened to just wander across it <laughs> oh a river of blood I mean this seems like a bad idea this seems like a bad idea Uh, nice touch with the bloody footprints. I was looking for that. Oops. Oh, although I kind of want to look around. Is there anything here? It, no, it's an invisible wall. I guess it's more aesthetically pleasing if you put in an invisible wall, but I'm always like, I'm sure you can come up with something. <laughs> Even just like a little row of stones or something. As he reached the summit, Ola felt regret. Stop his sister from being taken. The breath that he could not stop the woman from drowning her child. The that killed the shapeshifter in the forest. He wished he could ask their forgiveness. Here we go. Here we go. Um, he shouldn't put so much pressure on himself. The baby drowned because of the woman. He reached the end that Tuva had pointed him towards. Now, entering the halls of the mountain, Ulle was ready to find his sister. Shapeshifter killed all those people. Tried to kill us. I mean, I'm assuming that we're going to be fighting the Mountain King shortly. I'm going to find that dude, the bookkeeper. Yeah, we're back here. <laughs> How are you, dude? Mate? Exhausted, bloody, and at his wit's end, King Nils came to a witch's house on the outskirts of his kingdom. On the sheet, I'm finding every book, by the way, so I'm really glad that we find all these stories. I think these are like, very well presented. He fell to his knees, 
begging the witch to help cure his son, and she agreed. The witch explained that the flower held tremendous power that could only very carefully be used for good. The witch instructed he only use a single petal. Using the whole bloom would only invite death. Ulrich began to recover, but discontent at the royal line had grown in the kingdom following King Nils' bloody campaign. The next day, King Nils found his son dead, and the last light holding his darkness at bay was snuffed out. Heartbroken, King Nils turned to the bloom which had promised life, and instead saw it as an escape from his suffering. The witch, having come to visit the king and the prince, looked at the nightmarish scene in despair. She raised a mountain on top of King Nils and shackled him using the same bramble that he let loose upon the kingdom. And to this day, the trolls still feed him as punishment for his evil deed. Wow. So that's why the mountain is how it is. Is this the one we read earlier? Yeah. Long. Very sad. Is my advice to all of you: don't allow yourself to be shackled by darkness, by negativity. Let your inner light shine. There's the king. There's the queen. And there's the somewhat familiar looking prince with a somewhat familiar looking sword. the prince drink from that goblet we did cross my mind that we, like we're sort of, that we have some sort of connection to the prince whether we reincarnated whether we are the prince two Evan. But I said this in another video recently. What is it with games having like the, the ability to to sit down? I'm trying to press X. I mean, I'm succeeding at pressing X, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't know what's wrong with that. So, wait, was there like a number on here? I can't see one.
Or is that a figurine I can get down there? Ah, oh, I can look at this. It's a horse. Oh, I can't actually, uh, I thought it was a collectible. There's the pine cones. There's a king collectible. Sword. Sword of a thousand trues. X. It's a very weird thing. I assume there's another uh, hand for the clock somewhere. to that this might be working differently to what I I'm, I'm, I'm trying to feel the controller vibration. This has made me think if I was playing this on a keyboard, how would I sense that? Perhaps there's more than two numbers. Maybe I'm missing a number. There's a number on the goblet, goblet, that thing down there, and sword. So what am I missing? I swear I tried really hard to look for a number. Oh, there it is. There was a number. I need to get it at the right angle. Six. So six, two, ten. I don't know what the vibrations were for then. Six. Wait on them. Six. Two. Ten. Was I not, not accurate with my six? There we go. That's a good little puzzle. Now what? I still can't get through. Did it open something? Mm 
Gotta open one of these. Ah. There we go. I liked that puzzle. in the halls of the mountain that we're gonna find this king I thought it, it might have actually been a troll at the start the one who actually kidnapped <laughs> kidnapped our sister but no they they feed I would climb that. <laughs> oh, it should be safe. Follow uh There we go. This is uh this is intense. Love it. My specialty, my intensity gameplay. One last one. Oh, here we go. We've got a throw. Next, we've got a problem with the king. So I'm gonna kick his ass. I assume. I assume we're gonna fight him, not I assume. No, I will kick his ass. Don't you worry. The mountain king who was meant to be hidden forever was now revealed. We just had to reach the sack before Lilimur ended up as the giant's dinner. Wait, right, can I climb up there? I assume we're climbing up. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> I was assuming we had to climb up those rocks. Where do we go? I'll go up there. Go around. I think we go around. Right, how, do, uh, how, how, how do we do this? I'm 
I'd have to go through to another area, do I? Um. I can't aim at my courage ball. Where do I go? What do I do? I can't climb up at anything. It's just all these brambles here. I'll we'll climb up the sword. Yeah, there's no like there's nothing like telling me I can. Here we go. Mind the bramble. Now we're actually climbing the bramble. It's cool. We sort of conquered the bramble to an extent. And there's the king. Do you know which one's our sister? <laughs> it could be uh, in that bag, could be in a different bag. Oh, for goodness sake, we just got here. We're going to have to go inside the Mountain King to rescue her. Remix of that, um, <laughs> only know it as the Alton Tower song because it's, um, you used to always hear the advert for it. Oh, how did he get us? I thought I was avoiding that quite well.
So he's being a little bit predictive. <laughs> I'm supposed to avoid that. Guess I gotta watch the shadow. Jumping helps. Oh, jumping helps so much. Is he going to get his big sword? Oh, and his royal scepter. Your brambles showing. Oh my god, it's proper uh This is quite a challenging uh, boss. Is this what it feels like to be a fly? Have like someone trying to kill you. What was that? Okay, point taken. Screw totally screwed that jump up. Totally screwed that up. That one was me. Bramble weakened. The Mountain King saw clearly for the first time in centuries. And what he saw 
reminded him of his beloved son. So coincidence we look like that. That's good. Would not lose him again. This time, King Nils would overcome the darkness. Here we go. Are we going to fight the witch that caused the bramble in the first place, do you think? The source of the curse blossomed. King Nils tore the bramble rooted in his back and brought it all to an end. The only way to get to Lilimur was now up. And in. Oops. I keep, uh, like, I have that thing with games where I think I'm climbing up and I press A to jump on that or go up. I love the music in that boss fight. Oh, come on. How else am I supposed to get up to his mouth? I was trying to land on his arm and climb up. You, surely you all thought the same thing there. Jump on his arm and climb up. And don't tell me it was the wrong arm. Both arms lead to a shoulder that's at the same height either side, don't they? I have one shoulder closer to my mouth than the other. Now what? Do I jump for his beard? Do you jump for his beard? blood there's no way we survive that oh that could be DLC right there <laughs> playing this lily getting the way out of the body Courage has been proven. We've proved our courage Uva being on this adventure. Had one last gift to give to Ole. <coughs> Heals his broken back and everything. Always 
look after his friend. Nemus. My bro. He looks a bit like Conan, the other wrestler, since we've done wrestling references all throughout this. Big shout out to Conan. How'd he get here? Fair play to him. A nightmare woke her up. Frightened by her memories. She searched for her brother's comfort. But he was nowhere to be found. It's playing that side with Lemus. Oh, it's like a near perfect collection. Looks like there might have been three we missed, maybe. That's got an achievement for completing the game. However, the darkness outside did not scare her. <gasps> because she knew she had her brother. Cheeky little brother, eh? Well, Dim Frost Studio. Um, I thought that was an excellent, excellent game. Always trying to like give a rating, like out of ten. I could always like voice my ratings. I think my gut... I think my gut says I can't quite give it a 10. And my gut's telling me... I-9. You know... I think... I'd have to look back at games off the top of my head that I, I'd give a high nine to. I know I gave, um, well in my mind, I gave Horizon Zero Dawn a high nine. Think about the people that worked on that. Think of how big that game is. And I'm putting that game, this game, Bramble, on the same level as that. Um, I don't know if it falls under the category that's that sort of little nightmares um, comes under, like in terms of like the genre of game. Mostly because it's like 3D. I feel this game is basically a more 3D little nightmares. I think, like in terms of genre, and I think little night, like I think it's an evolution of the little nightmares sort of. Uh, style um, if I do class it as a little nightmares game this has got to be the best in the genre surely um, presentation graphics graphics are beautiful you know the grass the water like a lot of that really really uh, impressed me Music, great. I mean, that final boss battle music. I love that. I love any game where it's sort of like the, the music sort of amps up and amps up. Like the two that always get me are like Mystical Ninja Star and Going Mom for Nintendo 64 when you're doing a dungeon 
and when you get to like the second floor of the dungeon it's like the same music but it's like there's like more to it they get to the third floor like just before you fight the boss and it's like kick-ass version of the music phoenix right something like that where it's like you know you got the uh dun 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 and, and then you get the objection uh, it's like, duh, 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 duh. but then when you come to like the final testimony, it's like, dun, duh, 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 and then you finally get the EI objection, and then you get the corner theme, and they're like, that's like my favourite collection of music in all the video games, are like the corner themes of all the Phoenix Wright games. But yeah, I, I love that. Um, I really, really like the bosses. Um, the game didn't try to be more than what it was. You know. It's like I said earlier, like if, if this was a 10 hour game, I think it would be like too diluted. I don't think I've in, I would have enjoyed it as much. This I play through in one sitting. So if you did leave a comment giving me advice, sorry, uh, I, I wouldn't have read it because <laughs> I haven't even edited episode one as of right now. I've just sat through and played the whole game. Um, and, and yeah, I, I, I mean, I just think that the presentation of this game is fantastic. Uh, the narration. And, you know, even the accent of the narrator. You, you know, like, I think I think I caught in the credits that this was, I guess, made in Sweden. Like, to me, that just adds more to it, especially using, like, mythology. Um, from, like, maybe Norse mythology, I'm not sure. Um, but certainly like legends of sort of like that sort of like area and that added more that added it to that added to it as well i feel um i love some of the things like the camera angle um you know like when, when we were trying to like when we we're in the whole area with the zombies like the rundown village uh, and like you'd see like the game from like the window and things like that that added but like, that was quite powerful that really added like something to the game to bring a bit of tension um the characters there were no bad like no annoying characters no bad characters a few weird ones at the start with like the, the little naked things <laughs> but um you know the and the gameplay it, it was solid I had like one hiccup with the zombies where I was a little bit, you know, it weren't clear to me what to do. Um, but I soon figured it out, so I weren't mad. But yeah, it was just like, I, I, I just really come to adore this game. It's a fantastic game. A high 9 out of 10. It's on Game Pass. If you have Game Pass, you can play it right now. Um, it's a lot of fun. Maybe you can find all the collectibles. I didn't do it on my first run. Maybe you can find the stuff I missed. Maybe you'll find more secrets. Still, like, part of me wonders if I, I could have, like, the shapeshifter. Could I have got away without killing her? But that seemed like to be a more integral part of the story. So, I don't know. Um, it's a meaty game. And I really enjoyed it. Um, one nice evening I've had playing this game. Do you know what I mean? Like, this has made my evening really, really nice. So there you go. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. If these developers produce another game, I'd immediately be interested. Because they've got this in their repertoire now. It's like this is their reputation. It's not like that stupid guy in a bam bang game where if I hear they've created another game, it's like oh still you know, steering well clear of that unless the reviews tell me it's like the sun shines out of freaking Bam Bam's arse. Then I then I might play it. Because maybe they can redeem themselves. This needs no redemption. This is a uh, almost flawless game. Yeah. I guess like the only like tiny little bugbear I've got which I can't even like complain about is the fact that my instincts tell me to press A to climb the thing faster <laughs> every time I get to a climbing bit 
but instead I jump backwards but that's just my gamer's instinct I can't blame the game for that that was the only sort of like control issue I had control is a very important part of games for me a, a control can make or break a game I thought controls were like absolutely on par for this so there you go that was Bramble the Mountain King very very impressed I very much enjoyed that game um, what can I recommend I've got little nightmares on this channel um, oh what was that one game there was this one game that I played that was sort of like a it basically ended up being a direct little nightmares rip off and I can't think of what it's called um, you can watch that on how not to play a game um, Dark Dark's one that I'd recommend if you haven't seen Dark D-A-R-Q check that out if I remember I'll leave a link to the, in the description below to like some of these playlists but honestly I probably won't remember so you can search from Little Nightmares Dark they're great games Dark's really really good really really good game um, so yeah that's it thank you all so much for watching leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel and who knows what game I'll be playing next. You'll have to tune in to find out. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.